Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Takiru and welcome back to this let's play of Quantum Break. And apparently Beth wants to talk to us, but um, I want to see if there's anything of interest somewhere. It doesn't seem that way. How the hell did I get in? <laughs> well, okay, then... Nope, okay. Beth, I'm coming now. Sorry for the detour. I still like that effect down there on the time machine though. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Well, <clears throat> time travel, I say. Anything of interest in here? What's this? Hello, Riverport. Okay. Well, it's been a rough night for us. The collision at the port Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Okay. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? What? What have they sound ever done to you? Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. That's precious. And weird. Are we there yet? Yeah, okay, we are there yet. Okay, so where to? Yeah. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. And hello. How long do you need? I already found the problem. Quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. 7 a.m.? That's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay, I guess I'm doing fine. Yeah, I just wanted to pick that up first. And up the ladder. Up the ladder. Come on. We need to learn to press the wrong the right buttons here. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Okay, there is one up there and one over there. Is it above me? Seems that way. Okay, how do I get higher? I'm pretty sure I have to go on that. How? I'm, I'm not good at puzzles, apparently. No, 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 no. Don't fall off. Okay. Can 
I get one. Dead. I'm pretty sure I have to stay be up here. For some reason, but I just can't seem to find. Oh, there we go. Can you climb up on this? And first reset button. Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. Yep. Now we're just boring. Okay. Well, then let's go down. Down the stairs we go. Can you run any slower? Thank you. I'm way far from them. The one from before, so I have to get up. And I have a feeling I have to use this. Jack, you've got to see this. I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got here. Sorry, I'm on way. You what? Give Amaral a hand over there. Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right. What is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna want to see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Let's see. Okay. The date is. Oh, the date is. It's, it's February 28th. Jesus, well. 1999. William Joyce. 1999. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and the creating of black holes mass density by you know, tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine and it works. I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay, I just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. We'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. The corridor is locked in place. Okay. Setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive. But I can't travel backwards in time, only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is well, now. Okay. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is going to change the very fabric of That didn't seem good. Hey, what do you want? Was that Paul? That's how he arrived in the past. Well, how's that possible? It wasn't even the same time machine he entered at the university. That's one question I still don't have an answer for. 
Okay. Well, I still have to find a way up to um, the second of these things. What is in here, actually? More specific out here. I have a feeling I'm really just running around right now. Okay. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass, and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path, and they can't be changed or undone. Hey, Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. Well, <sighs> that was nothing. Can I get this one? Not sure about how all this works. We can try it your way. The notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Size is a lot to read. Um, I would not do that, <laughs> as I told you earlier. There's something over there, though. Where are you? I want the bathroom. Oh, okay. They're really good at hiding them. Let's see, it should be. It should be around. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Okay. Thank you. Wait, how do we get over there? Maybe this way. It's climbable. And I want this one. Okay, there's one more. I know where the one is. I just need to find a way to get to it. I really have to climb from all over here, holy shit. Oh, that's why I didn't use the staircase. Okay. How would your brother put maintenance controls way up there? That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. <laughs> I shut up. Don't expect to. Can I make that jump? Yes, I can. And having trouble getting to that red light up there? No, I'm fine. It's easier said than done. All right, all lights are green. So now, let's get back to this one. Thank you. 
Um. I'm already down. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. I'll set the data into the console. Okay. And fourth, two thousand ten. Are you ready? Fourth of July, of course. No. Are you? Nope. No turning back. Hey, wait, wait. What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Okay. So what will happen now that she went the wrong way around? Because she was destined to go back. But this is just really weird. Okay, maybe I should put a seizure warning in this episode here because this is really weird to look at. And I'm out. Okay. Fourth of July. Journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait. Because I wasn't alone. Okay, just more notes. Hey, Bobby Radford coming at you. Fourth of July. And what a fine day it is, too. Things are looking up. Okay, where is my point of action? I can't find it. Okay, I have to open this. All the way over here. Who the hell is that? The fuck are they shooting at? Okay, that was what I was listening to. <laughs> I thought it was the door. Is 
No turning back. Well, now we get the answer to what happens the wrong way around. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Williams machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilde. I can sense you. You're the reason we built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. And that is when she drew this. She had she a changed. lot of free time. As you wait in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. What exactly do you believe changed in Beth? She lost hope. What do we have here? I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't fucking, fucking do this. Do this. So she has been here for eleven years. Well, that is um, that is some time. Okay, I think I might end the episode off here before I uh, explore any more of the past here. So even though I still have a little more to go in time, but I I better stop off before I get into too much and can't end the episode because I don't want to end it in the middle of something. So I think it's better before start up something. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.